Hello, how are you doing? It's me. Um, yeah, unfortunately, yesterday didn't didn't make a video. I felt felt not great about it because I was very happy about how the challenge was going, and I was making a video a day, and I was happy about it. And I really think that the practice is helping me. I feel much more confident when I speak, and I need to explain myself and. I would like for that to continue. So today's video is gonna be how when you are in a challenge side, such as the one I'm in, which I made a challenge with myself of uploading a video a day of me speaking to the camera and post it online for anyone to see. And you know what happens? It's very easy. Like if you miss a day, you know it's like when you want to go, you're going to the gym. And you you miss a day, and you know it's very easy for them to miss another one. Mm, that's when most people quit something. You know, it's like you miss one, and you're like, oh, it's not a big deal, and you know, they can. That can escalate and can turn into something. So what I want to talk about is how important it is when you're doing something and you fail. You need to scream as possible, stand up, and get back to it and start doing it again. And you know, just just don't worry about it. Just keep working, keep doing better. You know, that's the whole point. So yes, I miss a day. It's not terrible, it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna continue to do the challenge and gonna continue to grow and get better. That's my whole thing. That's what I'm planning to do, that's what I'm going going to do. So yeah, unfortunately like momentum is a is a very real thing. Like once you you can the habit of doing something is easier to continue to do it. Uh, momentum, momentum can, you know, can work against you some some cases. Because you start doing something. Like once you do something wrong, it's easier to do another thing wrong and to have that thing escalate and derail your whole project and stuff. So that's why I don't want to happen here. That's why I want to get straight back into it and just continue and continue and continue. Also, today I started with a, another project, but I cannot disclose it yet. It will have to be after Christmas. I'm working on something and I'm so excited. I wish I could show you and tell you, like I want to tell everyone, but I have to be quiet for now in regards to that thing. Uh, with my drawing challenge, I have passed 50 drawings. That made me happy, although I don't remember if I told that in a previous video, but yes, I'm past the 50 drawing. Which is pretty great, so once the, once the story finishes, it will be a, like a proper story I could probably put it together into like a little book or something. That'd be cool. Mm. What else? Well, it's Sunday night here in Australia, and tomorrow the basking week is gonna start again and mm, pretty excited pretty excited um, one of the things, things that I've been noticing when I'm basking is that you know at first I thought because I had to bask for so many hours that the best thing would be not to spend a lot of energy in the song so I'll play the song slow and I'll, you know, 
be super mellow and stuff like that. But I did, by the end I was, like, it, it was very hard to reach the end of the Basque day. I was so tired and I was, you know, almost falling asleep. Whereas, when I play energetically, and I spend more energy, weird enough, I have more energy. I think that's fascinating. And, yeah. For example, on Friday I have to go to college and I'm sitting down and I'm struggling struggling to stay to stay awake. And I'm always thinking how it's possible that I'm sitting here doing nothing, spending no energy and I get tired and when I'm out and I'm basking and I'm playing and I'm moving and jumping and dancing I get more energy. That's that's very interesting. I guess, you know, energy is one of those things that the more you expend, the more you have. And actually, I think that creative energy is the same way. The more you create, the more inspiring you get. So a lot of people, they, they don't want to do anything artistic related because they're not inspired. Whereas you create and that inspires you you know first you start creating that inspires you so you create more so you get more inspired and it's like a thing that accelerates itself that's at least how i see it how it works for me and yeah that's why i'm trying to be creating all the time whether whether it's drawings or stories or poems or songs or here in these videos, I consider them to be creative. Um, oh, and today I uploaded um, to Facebook and in YouTube the uh, uh, short story that I wrote about a little star. And I put all the drawings and I edited so that it would be like a story where pages are gone. And I put some music in the background music that you know, I wrote and I play with the piano and I asked my girlfriend to narrate the story so it has her voice which I think is a very sweet voice and it goes perfectly with this story and also as it happens to be it's her her favorite of my stories so it worked pretty good for it for all of us and yeah I, I love that I got to do something with her creatively um, so that's that's up there. If you go to, um, to the Facebook page or the YouTube channel, you know, in all the channels, I'm the Art of Thomas. So it's pretty easy to find Thomas without the H, just T O M A S, the Art of Thomas. It's pretty easy to find. Um, yeah, well, you know, today's been a Pretty relaxing Sunday. I forgot to charge my Opal and my stuff, so I didn't pass it. I just uh, he stayed in and worked on all my projects. I got a lot done today. I'm very happy. And yeah, okay. Well, so I missed the last video, but back on, and I'm not gonna stop again ever. Probably. I don't know. I'm not going to stop. See you.